and no distraction. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. If you don't mean well, you cannot be on the front line. Lord of mercy. I, ooh, we take a charity. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. I, oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bo, bo, bo. Rababako, seno, shibo. Mayoboko, sata. Ribo, setayomo. Mayabosa. Nyanaboshe. Mm -hmm. Jesus 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 mm -hmm. Jesus Thank you Thank you Thank you Shana na 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 Just make yourself an altar. Bow wherever you find yourself. Just bow. Bow your knee. Hallelujah. Ay, Jesus. Warrior circle the altar. Warrior take charge of the altar. Ay, Somebody need help. They are at the right place. Oh, I help is here. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. Pray, warriors. Pray, pray, pray. Pray. Glory to God. Ah, 
Hallelujah. Missionary Harvey, grab a mic. Glory to God. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah, Lord. 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 Lord God of heaven, mighty God, 
Hey God, we are taking back. Oh God, what the caterpillar of Hitena and the conquer worm. We have taken them back. We are taking back. Lord God, our prayer life. We are taking back our consecration. We are taking back. Lord God, our families. We are taking back. Lord God Almighty. God, we are come this morning with vengeance in our eyes, in our hearts. This morning, uh, we are taking back, uh, oh God, our healing, uh, Lord God of heaven. Uh, yeah, 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 God, yeah, God, mighty God, mighty deliverer, oh God, this morning, uh, we ask your Father, Lord God, to saturate this place. Lord God Almighty, sign your warring angel at every door and every window. Word of God, every spirit that will enter God. Word them of this morning, Lord God of heaven. Hey God, God, no spirit of interruption. Lord God, I come to interrupt. We say fire of God. Burn them out this morning, Lord God Almighty. Mash up them setting, overturn some things, Lord God Almighty. God kill some things this morning. Hey God, hey God, mighty God. We put up a step on that this morning in the name of Jesus Christ against every plan of the enemy. Lord God Almighty, God, we draw your bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God of heaven, God Almighty, no weapon, no weapon that form against us this morning will not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God. Mighty deliverer, let there be a spirit of worship, let there be a spirit of praise, let there be a spirit of thanksgiving. God is in the way to thanksgiving, thanksgiving the way to success. Lord God Almighty, help us, God, to give you thanks, help us to give you praise this morning, help us, oh God, let there be a spirit of worship, Lord God of heaven, God Almighty. Lord Jesus, mighty God, Holy Spirit of God, we ask you this morning, come Almighty God, come in your strength and your power this morning, Lord God Almighty, touch the young leaders, touch the moderator, Lord God Almighty, when the moderator open his mouth, our mouth, let fire speak forth and split the surface of hell, oh God Almighty, let no demons and devil, oh God, stand before us this morning, Lord Lord God Almighty, let your words go forth and shoot down every arrow and every dart of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. I, God of heaven, I, mighty God. Oh, God Almighty, bring out your people this morning because great God Almighty, you say, God, when we beat through the water, you will be with us. Oh, God, when we go through the river, oh, God, they will not overflow us. Lord God of heaven, you say, mighty God, God, when we beat through the fire, God, it shall not burn us. God Almighty, the flame shall not tingle upon us. God, the fire is powerless. Oh, God, God Almighty to your people this morning. Hey God, hey God of heaven, mighty God, God of heaven, mighty God, great God be actually this morning. Lord God, you say God, you are God, and God you say will help us, you will strengthen us God, Lord God Almighty, you say God Almighty, you will uphold us with a right and of righteousness, Lord God Almighty, you say great God, Lord Jesus behold, you will make us a new sharp shedding instrument to tread down every mountain God we are shedding down some mountain this morning in the name of Jesus Christ Hey God, we are shedding them down. 
And God will beat you down every hill. Lord God Almighty, you say God Almighty, you will cast out, you lighten and scatter them. Oh God Almighty, you say we shook out, you are Almighty God and destroy them. Oh God Almighty, Holy Ghost of God. Hey God, hey you both sat my oh hey god hey hey god of heaven mighty god oh god we are here this morning oh god to overturn some things mash up some things god lord god almighty some be our spirit some witches and widow some necromancy spirit some evil forces we bind them this morning we shut them down by the powers of the almighty god we render them powerless we render them useless by the powers of the almighty god we have turned them table Lord God Almighty, God, we are going to them camp this morning. God, we are not seeing you and die. We are going to pray for them. God, God Almighty, you say great and us that he that's in the world. God Almighty, we are armed this morning that the enemy cannot reckon with. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, God of heaven, mighty God, mighty deliverer. We are taking back this morning. Mighty God of heaven. Help us this morning, God. Help us to stand tall. Oh God, in the spirit this morning. Oh God, I know that you are the God. You are the God of the whole heaven and earth. Hey God. Hey God of heaven. Mighty God of heaven. Mighty God. Remember God. Remember your daughter. Oh God, I cannot do this prayer. God, remember coming somewhere. Sir. Lord Jesus, great God of heaven, I ask you, God, to send forth your warring angel. God, send forth them around that bed to ward off the enemy. Lord God Almighty, God of heaven, Lord God, build a flame of fire around our God. Let nothing come near, touch our mind, cover on your blood, God. Lord Jesus, God Almighty, we put a stop order upon every situation. We put a stop order upon every affliction of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. God Almighty, God, when Lazarus was dying, four years late, God, God Almighty, and you say, come forth, Lazarus, God, the woman servant not dead, she's still alive, God Almighty, the blood still running in our feet, God, hey, God, God of heaven, God, come to for her, I call forth every organ in our body to come forth in the name of Jesus Christ. God, touch every organ, touch every tissue, every muscle, God. God, and many of you serve at them. You do it for God and God Almighty. You are not a God. Lord Jesus, oh God of heaven, Oh God, Lord Jesus, you know respect of person, God. Lord Jesus, you do what you do for one. You can do it for all. Do it for common souls. Visit right now, God. Visit right now. What for God? Visit her with a mighty visitation. God Almighty. We know you can do it, God. 
And God, we are intervening this morning. On our behalf, God, Lord God Almighty, great God, healing is our bread, God. And God Almighty, great God, we are so Father. Take over this morning, God Almighty. What I not pray, what I not pray for God, feel not to grant it unto us. Lord Jesus, take over the rest of this service. God Almighty, let no one here came and go, go as they leave, out as they came. But let them go, God, deliver and set free. Let them go, mighty God, rejoicing. Lord Jesus, oh God Almighty, let your shaka and glory come down in the sanctuary and sit upon your people, mighty God, as we tell your thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, I can I find my way without you, dear Lord. Look down from the throne, for I need your help in us to guide me. Lord, I cannot find my way. to stand and hold hands together in each of these aisles. Two warriors. You're going to hold hands like this together. Hallelujah. Two in that aisle. Two in that aisle. Two in that aisle. Come on, warriors, move. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't be distracted. Hold on together turn face to face glory to God glory to God hallelujah glory to God glory to God glory to God hallelujah glory to God hallelujah 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 glory to God Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It can't be business as usual. This is mountain moving fast in. Glory to God. You cannot come and leave the same way you come. 
something of the happen. This is not comfort zone. This is war. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sing again, sing. Lord, I can not find my
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Hando satayaba, riba koto rebe, yakando she, ribusha. Hey, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We glorify your name. We honor you, Jesus. Your name is above every other's name. Holy Ghost of God. Be a God. Every powers of darkness. Every principalities. Every rulers. In the name of Jesus. Cut them down, Holy Ghost. Tear them down, God. Move in your supernatural way. Yes, Lord. Let somebody know today, you are God. You are God and God alone. Your name is worthy to be praised. You are high and lifted up. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judas. And every knee shall bow. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, warrior. Thank you. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to sing for more redemption again. M171. Uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, have you been to Jesus uh, for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Uh, are you fully trusting uh, in His grace and power? Uh, are you washed uh, in the blood of the Lamb? Uh, glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. As long as you can stand, uh, please stand. Uh, glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing part? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusted in His grace? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood in the soul? Yeah. 
We are still going to pray again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't just sit there and look around. Be prayerful. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, I stretch.
Come on, kiss and pray. Hands 
Father. Lord, we pray even now that you will dispatch your angels right across the continent of the globe and lead out, lead out your souls, oh great God. Even though it is daylight now, oh great God, where we are, but even in this island, oh great God, some are in the gambling den, Holy Ghost, send your angel to lead them out in the name of Jesus. Some are in the bed of prostitution, homosexuality, lying, stealing, scamming. Oh, great God Almighty, child trafficking. Oh, Holy Ghost, we are depending on you today. Lord, Jeremiah said, Rachel is weeping for her children, and they are not. God Almighty, the mothers of Zion, we are weeping for those that once walked with you. Oh, great God Almighty, some of them are pastors, some of them were questers. Oh, great God, Lord Jesus, some were evangelists. Oh, great God Almighty, oh God, some were choir directors. Lord, but oh God, King Nebuchadnezzar in vain, Pharaoh has in vain, the Assyrian has in vain, the Amalekites has in vain. Oh, great God Almighty, we bind up those strong men in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We take authority against every Amalekite spirit, every Philistine spirit. Oh, great God Almighty, Lord God, we take authority against the spirit of Jeroboam that has built images, God Almighty, for your people to worship. We break down every altar that is not of you, that has not been erected for you, Almighty God. We break down every shrine in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, great God, the night is fast approaching. Oh, Holy Ghost, your eminence is near. And great God, that's why you raise us up. Oh, Holy God Almighty, to take out, to pull out, out of every pit, out of every dance, even the lion jaw. We should take out the lamb. So Zion is in session. And oh, great God, as we lift our spirit to your spirit on behalf of the family members. Oh, great God, that knew what it is to walk with you, what it is to talk with you. Oh, great God, what it is to have sweet communion. And Lord, they are not, but we pray, we pray, we pray. Restore, restore, restore to the old and mark. Restore, Almighty God. We pray for restoration in the name of Jesus. And those that are on the borderline, oh, great God, they are on their way out. Lord, we pray that you will reinforce, oh, great God. Dear believer, cause them to remember from whence they're coming and where you have brought them, Lord. And there's still a mighty long way to go. Oh, Holy Ghost, oh, great God Almighty, this is mountain moving fasting, and all souls are yours, Lord God. You left the 99 and you went. Searching, Lord, we are searching today. Oh, great God, for every family member that has lost their way and those that have not yet known you as Lord and Savior, trouble your hearts, trouble your consciousness. Oh, great God, let them find no peace, let them find no rest. This is not the time to rise up early and sit up late and eat the bread of sorrow. It is not dancing time, Lord. 
Oh, great God Almighty. Oh, Jesus. Be merciful. That's the reason why you left the splendor of heaven. Oh, Jesus, to restore, to recover all. Oh, great God. Lord, mothers of Zion, we are calling to you, Lord, to have mercy, to have mercy, have mercy. Many are lame, many are discarded, but oh, Holy Ghost, we are depending on you for restoration. Restore again, restore again, restore those that have boxed and, and have lost their way, Lord. Remove the scales from their eyes again and cause them to see. Remove the deafness from their ears and cause them to hear the sound of Zion. Oh, great God, give them a thirsting and a hunger for you again, almighty God. Like the former days, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God almighty, when all is said and done, we'll give you the glory the honor and the praise as you give us the good and we tell you thanks to Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior who taught us saying our Father what in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day oh God our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever hallelujah glory to God hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah please stand hallelujah with your hands above your head hallelujah and your mouth just shabbat God Glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, thank you, we bless the name of Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God, please take your Bibles and turn with me, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. To St. Matthew chapter 5. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As long as you can stand, please stand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to read from verse 1 to verse 12. Glory to God. I'm still seeing persons sitting. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Shout a hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. We'll begin. And seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened up his mouth and thought them, saying, Blessed are the pure in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the hurt. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst of a righteousness, for they shall be full. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is a kingdom of heaven. 
Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Read verse 12 again. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Hallelujah. The Lord has spoken. Let the church say. Amen. The Lord has spoken. Let the church say. Amen. Hallelujah. Put down those Bibles. Clap those hands for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Send up a praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. It was my pleasure serving you this morning. Please put those hands together and make our bishop, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, welcome in the care of the Holy Ghost. Get together in the Lord. Let us all get together in the Lord. Let us grieve one another. Oh, Thy sister and brother. Let us all get together in the Lord. Oh, let's do it in a practical way.
Go ahead and worship the Lord God of heaven. Worship the King who has redeemed us by his own precious blood and has made us ears and joint ears of eternal kingdom. Why not take some time out and in adoration to the King? Oh my God. In adoration to the King. Let his praises ring. I will sing to the Lord. Lifting my hands. Hallelujah. 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 To the King. Hallelujah to the King. Adoration and praise is to our King. Hallelujah. Let his praises ring. I will shout. To the Lord, lift in my hands, hallelujah, to Raise your hand and sing it again, everybody. Adoration and praises to our King, precious Lord. is real. Church, I will sing to the Lord. Lift in my head. Hallelujah to the King. Everybody in this house today you know someone who is in need of prayer could be among your own family members relatives friends neighbors co-workers community persons and the list goes on and on. They may be abroad. You know somebody possibly in the hospital. You know somebody possibly will be attending up on the doctor today. You know somebody who need God's divine intervention in one way or another. Let's exercise the word of God, which tells us that it is more blessed to give than to receive, and that we should cast our bread upon the waters, and it shall return to us not many days hence. I want you to get ready to pray for that person right now. They might not dream that in this church at this time, somebody has them on their mind and take the time to pray for them. So will you, by faith, don't crowd your mind with five, six, seven persons. Let's look to that one that the Holy Spirit will register in your spirit right now. Well, Bishop, don't you know that high of needs? I know you do, all of us do. But we are observing the biblical principle. Give, and it shall be given back to you. Who is that person? 
Let's get ready to pray for them. For you, I am praying for you. I am praying for you. sit down you can sit down there's no sin in that if you want to kneel you can kneel you want to remain standing you can stand but make sure you take that person to the throne of God and expect to see some positive results father we come in the name of Jesus Christ, calling upon you and across this gathering this morning, so many people are being represented through this gathering now. They do not know that from this particular day at this time, they are being lifted, lifted up in prayer in this church. But oh God Almighty, as each one bring before you that particular individual Lord it may be a family member Lord it may be a friend God it may be a co-worker Lord it may be a community person it may be a church member God it may be someone distance away in other parts of the world it may be someone who is attending upon the doctors today Someone, my God, whose back is against the wall. Names are being called to you right now. We ask you, Jesus, to look down from the height of your sanctuary. God, you know who I have in my mind right now. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will see your hand on that particular individual. And I pray, my God, that you show yourself strong, that you show yourself mighty, that you turn things around in a way that all men will see and know that the Most High God has intervened. God Almighty, there are many for whom we are praying now that the devil has sealed their doom. The devil has written them off. Their destruction is sealed by the enemy. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we reverse it right now. We reverse it by the power of the Holy Spirit. We reverse it because the cross is empty. The tomb is empty. The Lord is enthroned up the right hand of God. An intercession is being made for them now. You lying devil... You demon from the pit of hell. It is God, not God's will that any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. Turn it around God. Somebody is praying for a daughter. Somebody is praying for a son. Somebody is praying for a husband. 
Somebody is praying for grandchildren. Somebody is praying for siblings, their brothers and sisters. Somebody is praying for co workers. Somebody is praying for neighbors. Somebody is praying for a fellow brother, a fellow sister in Christ. Oh God, you hear and answer prayer. We ask you to look down upon the petitions that are being made right now and manifest your presence, manifest your power. Let us see visibly before our eyes the transformation. Let us see visibly before our eyes the divine supernatural intervention. Let us see before our eyes Oh, the mighty working of the Holy Spirit. Father, you tell us that if any two of you shall agree, touching anything that we shall ask in your name, it shall be done. We ask in the only saving name, which is Jesus Christ. We ask in the only healing name, which is Jesus Christ. We ask in the only deliverance name, which is Jesus Christ. And we are believing you that on this third day, my God Almighty, as resurrection power brought you from the grave, on the third, even so may today be a third for somebody in a real and personal way. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for granting the request because we believe it shall be so. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, Father, we praise you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we honor you. Stand up now and begin to give God thanks. The Bible says in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Come on, people of God, lift up your hands, open your mouth. Oh, in everything by prayer, in everything by supplication, in everything with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all, Shanda Korama Sakanta, which passes all understanding will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Matthew 21, 22. I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believing that you have received them. Oh, some of you might have said, Bishop, I've been believing for a long time. Well, this is a special assignment today. This is like an angel visiting the, the pool. This is like an angel troubling the water where that person is concerned. This is like an angel and somebody step on in. Or oh, this is like Jesus coming on the scene and say, will thou be made whole? And somebody right now never thought it would be like it is happening. But somebody help me praise him. Somebody help me praise him. Somebody help me praise him. Because there's a move of the Holy Ghost in the atmosphere. There's a move of the Holy Ghost across the land. There is a move of the Holy Ghost across the waves. There's a move of the Holy Ghost across countries, across ethnicities, across religion. There is a move. If some of you would tap in, then God would release something in you. If some of you would tap in, then God would release something for you. I'm sure you're here today because you believe in God to do for you what the medications have not been able to do. 
what the doctors have not been able to do what your husband have not been able to do what the children have not been able to do what the wives have not been able to do you are here believing God for something that the bishop was not able to do the pastor the elder the minister the prior warrior but there is a God in Israel 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 Naaman will know Naaman will know that there is a God in Israel when he obeys God Whoa, somebody worship God I sense a move of the Holy Ghost touching me from my head to my toes Shakandarabahosata I feel the touch of his hands so warm and tender glory to God glory to God glory to God glory to God I did say glory to God some of you are a little bit too cute for this kind of service you are a little too cute for the move of the Holy Ghost you want it your way but God said I'm going do it my way glory my God Almighty Holy Ghost somebody's in Spanish on a spittle shake that bed shake that bed shake that bed somebody's in KPH University St. Anne's Bay Montego Bay wherever they are shake that bed visit those wards somebody my God Almighty Shakomo Sanda is getting ready to take the last breath to take the last breath move in Jesus move in Holy Ghost move in Spirit of God to God glory glory mm -hmm. for I went to the enemy's camp and I
Clap your hands and give him the high praise. Clap your hands and give him the high, 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 high praise. God bless you. Be seated, please. Wonderful exercise in praise, worship, and adoration to our King. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Oh, forevermore. Blessed be God. Lord bless you. We're delighted to be here on today. To lift up the name of Jesus. Dr. Petrova taking a break. She has been leading this service solo for many, 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 many moons. And of course, we are you to have a preacher today to give me a little rest in my voice. So I say, let me give her the break. Good to see everybody. Amen. We welcome all our ministers, Minister Michael Smith, Minister Maxine Murray, Minister Bobby Chambers, Minister Gloria Campbell, Minister Ut Neil Scott, and all the other ministers of wonderful prayer warriors and all of the credential officers, all the ushers around the place. AV department, and just about everybody in this space, we welcome you today. Just take your neighbors on and tell them, I welcome you. We welcome the many others who have joined us on the social media platforms, at home and abroad, near and far. We welcome you where you are in your particular country, community, parish, district, village, uh, continent, wherever you are, we welcome you today and whenever you view this, the rebroadcast of this service, we trust that you will share it with others. We invite also those who participate on our social media platforms that you will like and subscribe and share the link so that others can share in the blessings of God. Amen. Amen. Anybody feel doubly blessed here today? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> May not have all the creature com comforts of life, but most, if not all of us, got a roof up above us. We don't live in the streets. We got some food on your table. Anybody has shoes on your feet? Anyone has the love of God in your heart? You're part of a fine family. Well, lift your hand and say, thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. The Lord bless you, so we welcome you. Before missionary Desiree Francis come to minister, which we shall do in another three, five minutes, just to refresh you with the, a few announcements. We want you to prepare for worldwide prayer meeting on Friday night. We took a break on last week, coming out of convention and all of that, but we are gearing up for worldwide prayer meeting on this Friday night, so viewers everywhere, prepare for that. And saints, I want you to come out to the house in great number. Our youth population will be, our youth community will be going on a hike on Saturday all the way up to the hills of St. Andrew, Hollywell, wherever. So we want to be in much prayer for them and also for the other needs around us. Are you still with me there? So we look forward to that. And Sunday morning, the Lord tires. We look forward to our morning worship service. Sunday afternoon, evening, 6 p.m., 
We're inviting all the churches in Portmore. This is not my call. This is a call from the police department. Police and churches. Churches and police partnering for a more gentle, crime-free society. So 6 o'clock on Sunday evening, the Ascot High School football field. And we hope all the Christians across Portmore will come by and let's have a wonderful time of gospel singing and preaching and praying and all that the Holy Spirit will do under the auspices of the Jamaica Constabular Force and the leaders of God's church. Amen? Amen. So this is an open invitation for Christian people from all denominations. Crime affects everybody. Doesn't matter your religion, crime will affect you in one way or another. So bear that in mind as we work along with the police together. And then you get your ticket for the pre-Mother's Day family dinner. All over there in Lot 10C will be transformed into a place of beauty. You're going to be surprised at what's going to be done there. It's going to be an evening of special entertainment, live performances, a wonderful fellowship, good food and friends, and it's going to be great. If you do not get your ticket as yet, make sure you get it today because they are going very, very fast. I'm trying to remember what's the cost for the ticket. $5,000 for adults and two five for children, okay? So get your ticket. Those of you who don't have the money, you have some money in the thrift club, go draw some. I told you to put it there so I can tell you to draw some and support this wonderful family pre-Mother's Day dinner. The, the meals will be sumptuous, the fellowship will be great, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Amen? God bless you. All right, I think that's about it. But let me remind you that we, we will be having a great water baptism on the 27th of this month, May. So, those of you who have already surrendered, those who will surrender today, please get your name out of the books of death and get it in the book of life and be ready for the Lord's second coming. Amen. And another big one is coming up on the 2nd of June. That's a Friday night, night of praise under the auspices of the exhorters department. You will hear more about that, but it's a night of praise from 10 p.m. through 5 a.m. I looked at the lineup, I looked at the program, I looked at the items, and it looks very, very interesting on paper. And it's going to be much better when it emanates from the spirit of God's people. Amen? Amen. So you'll hear more about that as time goes by. But we give God thanks for bringing us together. Let's prepare to receive a ministry from Missioner Desiree Francis, who has always blessed our hearts. And will you come and minister for the glory of Almighty God? Put your hands together and receive the anointed voice. Missionary Desiree Francis. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands in the presence of the Lord. Bless the worthy name of Jesus. Bless his name. Praise the Lord. If you ever feeling down and like you have nowhere to go if you're feeling like an outcast as your problems overflow just remember there is someone and all it takes for you to know
must remember there is someone and all it takes for you to know is that God is the answer and God answers first Oh, he sees every weakness every trial
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus mm. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Every dark addiction begins to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Oh, your name is power Your name is healing Your name To every soul that captive by depression, I speak Jesus. Jesus. Oh, your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name.
Jesus in the street. Jesus. Jesus in the darkness over all the enemy. Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name. talked about this it was not planned but I just felt led to talk with you a little the Lord is good isn't he Amen. 
prayer is a powerful thing. Jesus demonstrated it. He went on three different occasions and prayed the same prayer. So while some people think prayer can be repetitious, saying the same thing over and over again, nothing is wrong with that. He also coupled prayer with fasting. 40 days, 40 nights, like Elijah and others, Moses. So prayer and fasting is important. You are prayer leader number, I don't know, because I didn't check it out. As I said, this wasn't planned. But we had some outstanding prayer leaders over the years. Some you knew very well gone on to rest with Jesus, evangelist Madge Delissa, Enet Delissa. I'm sure you'd have learned quite from her, quite a lot from her. Minister Gloria Campbell. I think Minister Noteman was a prayer leader at one point. Evangelist Thelma Barrett. Those are outstanding women of God who blaze the trail. I've said all of that to say this. I believe the enemy will bring pressure on you more than on the ordinary regular members of the church because you head a battalion that is shaking the foundation of his kingdom. How do you get the strength to continue to do what you have been doing like you have been doing it with such fervor? with such courage, with such vibrancy. You're not a very big statue woman, but you're strong like a lioness. How you do it? Tell us. <laughs> well, Bishop, sometimes I don't even know myself how I do it, you know. But I know that it is the grace of God and I know that when you love what you do, mm. he will give you the strength. You understand? And I love what I do, Bishop. Yes, this is my ministry. As you will see, Bishop, I am not in any other ministry mm -hmm. in the church. Because this is where God called me. Dedicated to And prayer. I am really dedicated to it, sir. So I believe that's why I got the strength that I have. Mm. It's from God, sir. And it, said, it is said that when you enjoy what you're doing, you're not working, you're having fun. I'm having fun, sir. It's, it, it don't seems to me like a job, you know, because with my prayer warriors, you understand, it, we are family. Mm -hmm. And no care if we have our indifference, we are family, yes. you know, and they make it easy for me at times too, you know. Sometimes, you know, in every department you will have, but I think that because I love, my, love what I do, I love them, God give me the strength and the push to go. You did say you love them. Yes, sir. That's I do. wonderful. I do, sir. My goodness. It's from the bottom of yes. my heart. It is good to know that you love those with yes. whom you work. Yes, sir. Those who work with you. Yes, Bishop. That's why I love you so much, too. Yeah. We are a team together. And the devil don't like us. But you shall chase a thousand. And two of us shall put 10,000 to flight. May the Lord continue to strengthen you as you lead the great task of prayer in this church. When some persons are sleeping, you have to be praying because the head that wears the crown is uneasy. Yeah, God will visit with you at different times unlike others and put burden on your heart to pray for this one that one this cause that cause and you're always ready to respond to god's call is not wonderful stand up everybody please point your hands down here and say a prayer for evangelist jennifer o. say a prayer come on
Yes, say a prayer for her. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful treasure. We thank you for this gift to the body of Christ. We thank you for this gift to Power of Faith Ministries. We thank you for this gift to my family and I. We thank you for this gift to the nations of the world. Continue to strengthen her. Continue to furnish her. Crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Spirit of the living God. We ask you, Lord God, to make every enemy your footstool. Let her run through every troop and leap over every wall. Crush every enemy. Give her victory every step of the way. In the name of Jesus, bless her physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, mentally, every area of her life and family. Water her from day to day. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord, don't leave. I'm gonna, I do things as I am led. Listen to this. While I was praying, the Holy Spirit said to me, listen carefully that I should give you 3,000 Jamaican dollars. But you're going to sow that $3,000 as a seed offering today. And God is going to give you a financial miracle. Yes. I'm going to give it to you. You're going to sow it as a seed. And watch God work. Somebody give God praise, everybody. Give him praise and glory. Worship the Lord. Come on, worship him. Worship him. My God Almighty. Wow. Miracles are on the way. Miracles are happening. Somebody clap your hand and shout the high praise to the Almighty God. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. I look forward to your testimonies. The Power in Faith Gospel Group has been with us for quite a while. And they are among the ministering angels of this church. They are going to come at this time to minister to all of us and to you wherever you are. Put your hands together and receive their ministry of these wonderful angels of God's church. Praise the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord? Praise the Lord. Praise God. You know, this is just a beautiful day. Whenever we gather like this, we just see one big family. No matter how you feel down, when we are together like this, and when I heard Bishop Arms um, started to, uh, have you got a roof up above you? <laughs> I, I said, my goodness. You know, that's the song we have put together this morning. And so, be blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Why the world looks upon me as I travel along. They say I have nothing, but they are so wrong. In my heart, I'm rejoicing. Oh, I wish they
Ah uh. 
Thanks to everybody. See me getting a little tired. Stand up, please. The preacher is coming. Stand out to respect for preachers. Well, Bishop, you don't know how my feet are hurting me, man. Well, stand up by faith and say, Come on, foot, you're going to praise God. Give the Lord praise, everybody. Give him a praise again. You know, the Holy Spirit is amazing. Of all the songs that the choir, the group could have chosen, and of all the songs that I could have mentioned or quoted, the Lord would have me to go to right to the one that they prepared to minister. Roof up above me. Find place to sleep. I got some food on my table. The Holy Spirit is marvelous. Everybody say marvelous. We'll be ministering in different ways in this service. But at this time we want to receive the word of God. The word of God is quick and powerful. Yes, you got it right. It cuts and it heals. What a word. He send this word and heal them. Our preacher is no, is no stranger to this congregation. Many congregations across Jamaica, other parts of the globe. And you, our dedicated viewers on Flow, Digicel, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, wherever, TikTok, and all the others that we're on at this time. I was just coming communicating with some of our YouTubers and they're having a wonderful time. Number of them are out there. Why God is good. So this preacher stays busy. In spite of his full-time employment, he stays busy on the circuit for the Lord. Amen. And I know God is going to speak to him, to us today. So, Minister Michael Norman Mirage will share the word of God with us today. Bless you. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Minister Brian. Trouble sometimes I hear feeling men's heart. Freedom we all hold here Now is that stay oh, Humble your heart to God You're from the chamber Seek the way in each one In the love What do you say? Jesus is coming Morning or night Oh, you will be 
Shout it! Shout it till your stress drop off. Shout it till the enemy are a break. Come on, Shout it till sick body get healed. Shout it make the enemy free. Open up your mouth and shout. Hallelujah! What a mighty God! We serve. We serve. Somebody give him a praise. Hallelujah. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Make him welcome, man. Make him welcome. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. I thank God for the man servant apostle, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. And his wife, Minister Dr. Petrova David. Don't sit down yet, man. Put your hands together for them, man. Oh, hallelujah. I have minister with me. Put your hands together for her. Minister Campbell and Maxine Morian. Minister Michael Smith. Minister Chambers. Minister Brian. There could be other ministers around. Put your hands together for them, man. And the elders and the prior warriors. Do it for yourself, please. I'm going right into this word and I want you to stand with me. And I'm going into the book of Exodus. I'm going to read 11 verses and it might come 10 verses a different way today. But somebody say give God a praise. And Exodus 14 and from the 21st verse. It reads thus. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night. And made the sea into dry land and the waters were divided. So the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea on the dry ground. And the waters were a wall to them on the right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went after them into the midst of the sea. All Pharaoh's horses his chariots and his horsemen. Now it came to pass in the morning watch that the Lord looked down upon the army of the Egyptians to the pillar of fire and cloud. He troubled the army of the Egyptians. He took off their chariot wheels so that they drove them with difficulty. And the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptian. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians on the chariots and on their horsemen. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and when the morning appeared, the sea returned to its full depth. While the Egyptians were fleeing into it, so the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Then the waters returned and covered the chariots, the horse, and all the army of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. Not so much as one of them remained, but the children of Israel had walked on dry land in the midst of the sea. And the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. So the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Thus Israel saw the great work which the Lord had done in Israel, in Egypt. So the people feared the Lord, believed the Lord and his servant Moses. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I stand here this afternoon and in this house, Almighty God, at this anointed desk, 
Oh Lord, I pray that you wipe my mind clean. You know my thoughts, Heavenly Father, and you have hedged me behind and before. And there is not a word on my tongue, but you know it all together. So, Lord, I pray now that you anoint me afresh from the crown of my head, even unto the sole of my feet. And let your word come out of my mouth with power and with clarity and with fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Spirit of God, we call heaven against the spiritual Egyptians in the name of Jesus. We come against Pharaoh's horses. We come against Pharaoh's chariots. We come against Pharaoh's horsemen and all the hosts of Egypt in the name of Jesus. For there is a God in Zion who will fight for us in the name of Jesus. So yes, Heavenly Father, we ask you today that every spiritual Egyptian that is tracing anyone in this church under my voice, those who are on YouTube and Facebook and Flow and Digicel, every spiritual Egyptian that is pursuing them, pursuing them where they live, pursuing them where they work, pursuing them in the business place, pursuing them when they go about their business, we call heaven that the Red Sea swallow them up in the name of Jesus that we will look upon them in the name of Jesus and we see them by the seashore as Israel saw a dead Egyptian yes Holy Spirit of God saturate this auditorium and if there is any witch among us any large man Freemason we call for fire against them in the name of Jesus any workers of iniquity make them uncomfortable we ask for fire in the name of Jesus expose them Holy Spirit expose them in the auditorium expose them in the name of Jesus, we stand here being victorious and declare, thus says the Lord, we submit ourselves to you today and always. We give you all praise and glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name, somebody give God a praise. Lord Jesus, oh, please be seated. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. And under this team here today, my brothers and sisters, it is coming right out of this portion of scripture. And just before I give you the theme, let me just spell it out clear, clear, clear. That the Egyptians have done the people of God wrong and they have done it in a very wicked way. Can you imagine that they initially invited you to be with them and then live with them? Am I speaking to anybody? But because anywhere you go, God bless you. You better get with this message quick today now. They invited you to live with them because the favor of God is upon you. But what they did not know is that anywhere God people go, God start to bless them. And it doesn't matter how you seem small today. It's only a matter of time before God start expand your border. It doesn't matter how you look insignificant today. It's only a matter of time that Holy Ghost is going to say, lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. Or oh, somebody better jump and give God a praise. They took the mean minister. But they look feeble and insignificant. The scripture says it was only 70. Oh, somebody give God a praise. But God don't deal with division. God deal with multiplication. And if you're under my voice here today, whatever you saw into this house today, I'm declaring that God is going to multiply it. 1,000 shall turn 100,000. 10,000 shall turn 1 million. And if you dear God today and put 100,000, you shall get back 10 million. And if I hear a word that jump up and catch it. 
If that is your word, jump up and catch it. Now look at this. They came in and they look insignificant. What can 70 people do? Oh, somebody give God a praise. What can a family of 70 people do to a whole mighty army and nation like Egypt? But tell somebody when God is in your corner. Oh, you're not here. When God is in your corner. I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but there are some insignificant people who are under my voice today and then believe you will come out to nothing good, but tell them, give me a chance. Wait till God ready. You not see nothing yet. You not see where God carried me yet. Because if, oh Lord Jesus, I come into the thing. But think about this. They bring you in. And they believe that forever. They will have you in their laps. Feeding you milk. And taking care of you. They believe every day you live in their house. But God have a bigger plan and a better plan. Because you shall come out of fear house. You shall go into your own house. And every fear of landlord, I come to you in the name of Jesus. And say, let God. So neighbor, if you really want rest, this is not the time for it. Put on your walking shoes. Put on your praise garment. Put on your helmet of salvation. Put on your breastplate of righteousness. Talk to your neighbor, man. Talk to your neighbor. So neighbor, take up your shield. Grab your sword in your hand. And tell the enemy that we come for it today. And we now... Look at this, Minister Campbell. They took them in like nice, decent tenants. I would, I would stand Anybody inside your parent? Anybody inside your parent? Everybody else who have all sit down, we want to talk to the rent people there. And in the name of Jesus. So may not a parent, but you live in a people house. And you know, catch what the spirit is saying. I don't care if you're young or old. My God is rich in house and land. And I say to the north, I say to the south, and in the name of Jesus, I pray that the host that is waiting for you, that the one I call you, and say, Holy Ghost, I am to call you. Here is your. Lord Jesus. Before I reach to the theme, can you imagine they never know that you will come out to anything good? Oh, come on, power of faith, you're preaching with me you now. They never know you will amount to anything significant because you are only a family of 70. Furthermore, the one we send call you at the one where only the show in a pit. Furthermore, the one we send call you know, at the one was sent into Potiphar's house. Furthermore, he was in the prison and now him turned governor of Egypt. I mean, no him come call you know, but I really think him like you know. But tell them when God is in the vessel, we no carry no grudge. We no carry no heat. That if God will go bless you, you are feel clean. You are feel pure. You are feel right. Joseph was clean. Joseph was righteous. Am I speaking the true church? Lord Jesus. So fear us, so how bad can it be? Them can't do nothing to me. Because if them did know that God have a plan for you, them would have leave you which part you did there. 
them would have never sorry for you. But it's when God has work out things, God make even your enemy take care of you. You see, when God has work out things, all those who not like you, God make them go up and go draw money and carry come give you. Am I speaking to anybody today? And if you need some money from some wicked people, jump up on your feet and say, hey, you wicked, draw some money and come. The wealth of the wicked. Lord Jesus. So what is the theme, minister? What a mistake. Lord Jesus, what a mistake. Oh, you're not hearing me, church. What a mistake. The mistake for bring you in and think you would have stayed little. What a mistake. For God said, I will bless those who bless you and I will curse those who curse you. He said, touch not. What a mistake Pharaoh made in put Israel in a punishment. He took away the straw. He made life hard for them. Am I speaking to anybody here today? Some people are make life hard for you. If I you may talking, don't stay seated, man. Stand up and be identified. Some neighbors make life hard for we. Some co-worker make life hard for we. Am I speaking the truth? You are already in a slavery. What kind of threat am I going to be to you? And them seal and make life hard for you. You come to work 8 o'clock and the starting time is 8.30. You leave work 5 o'clock and the departure time is 4.30. It no matter what you do, they make life hard for you. But Holy Ghost sent me to tell them today what a mistake you are making when you trouble Zion. What a mistake you are making when you deal with God people and justly oh somebody give God a praise and you know after them work you out for little and nothing oh come on church after them feed you with what them want feed you with after you not get no pay and you not get the right salary them still won't kill you. But God have a plan. God have a wonderful plan. There is a Moses that God said, come on Moses. I have a work for you in the name of Jesus. And you know the story. And fear and now decide that he is going to travel behind Israel. And he's going to pursue them. And he's going to conquer them. And him come with all of him choice horses. And him come with all of his chariots. And the Bible says him come with all of his army. And all the horsemen. But can I tell power fear today. That the harder they come. I'm not preaching for entertainment, you know. I want a radical church. Tell anybody this is a radical church. They shall come against you one way. Somebody says, scatter them, Holy Ghost. And fear of dead. The unthinkable. Why is that unthinkable, minister? Ten different plague. Oh, you're not hearing me. Can I tell you, church, that there are some people who are bothering you? And Holy Ghost, I've been sending them warning. Send a little sickness into them family and them still not take the warning. 
God even makes sure some of them pick the gun at jail and them still not take the warning. Some get fire from them job. Some people business me you can stay there. God I give them warning after warning. And some of you may have taught the truth. You come to church and say, Bishop, lay hands on me. Bishop could have lay hands, foot, head by you. I'll make him so live I catch you. He can't help you. Because you are trouble, God people. You are messed with God. You are trouble. Fly go Africa. Make profit beard you in a water. Make profit beard you in a river. It can't help you when you trouble Zion. God trouble you when you trouble Zion. Me not care where you are here. God trouble you. The scripture said God trouble the Egyptians. And when they come out for God people, because God really have mercy upon them. God take off the wheel before them stop and say me can't bother. The wheel them not stop broke off. Before me them do say me not bother. Too much things are going on in my life. But because them wicked, because them mindset and bringing your door. What a mistake. What a mistake. What a mistake. Can somebody help me and say, what a mistake? Jump up on your feet and say, hey, Nimi, what a mistake? They had all this time to turn back. I know them like to say, oh, we preach. And preach wickedness. And now we are preaching no wickedness. I escape the people. I'm going to try to escape. I got the people. I'm going to try to go about them business. Is you know who I leave them alone. That's why God tell them. Come out from the Egyptian. God try a strategy. Tell him that you want to come and pray for three days. God want to open up the sea, you know. And shut it back and leave them to live peaceful. There are some people God to try to keep them alive. Because God is not slack concerning his promise. That any should perish. But that all should come. Because evil fear needs to be saved. Evil the warrior man needs to be saved. Evil the barmia people need to be saved. Evil the large man need Jesus. Evil the free so need Jesus. Even the Illuminati need Jesus. But they make up their mind that they are going to kill you. And Holy Ghost stand up in the middle of the way and say you can't touch them. Fire by day, clothed by night. Fire by day, clothed by night. Somebody say fire! Fire! God is so compassionate. God is so compassionate. He never killed the firstborn first. Send oh all much plea. So take the one and take the one. Take the one and take the one. I like all them people that catch on already. Bring all of the big containers come. And I just offering, I saw you, I saw you see. And I offering you, you put in today. Everybody, I saw you, I saw you see. Because the enemy has made a mistake. The enemy has made a mistake. The enemy trouble you too long. The enemy bother you too long. Trouble your children, trouble your family, trouble your business, trouble your community. But in the name of Jesus, a time for God start trouble them. A time for God start trouble them. A full time God start trouble them. Somebody said trouble them. Jump on your feet and say trouble them. Trouble them, Jesus. Trouble them, Jesus. Trouble them, Jesus. Trouble them, Lord. A full time. Bring 
bigger container. Bring the big container. The Holy Ghost said, It's a long time that I'm going to trouble you, but it's my time to trouble them back. The word of God said, God troubled the Egyptians and pop off them wheel and say, Slow down, Egyptian. You're getting too close. Them coming too close. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up. Back up, back up. Somebody say, Back up, Egyptian. Back up, back up. What a mistake. They could have stayed where they were. They could have stayed and licked them wounds. But Lord Jesus, the heart was hardened. But tell your neighbor, there is one more victory. There is one more victory. There is one more victory. Them think it was the frog. Them think it was the fly. Them think it was the water. Them think it was the disease. But God has something else. Open sleeve. Him say, Moses, get a lamb. Kill that lamb. Make sure you get the blood. Put it on the lintel. Put it on the doorpost. Make sure you get ready. Light up the fire. Get some food to eat. Make sure you don't leave none. No nyaman left. No eat and left. Can we not stay in here? Put on your shoes. Put on your clothes. Pack up your donkey. Pack up your camel. Pack up your things then. And before you come out, go borrow some gold. Borrow some silver. Borrow some riches. Can you not dare have a paid back? Borrow Lord Jesus. It's a, it's a, it's a, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes! And the Lord said, Moses, I'm coming down tonight. Make sure you do what I tell you to do. Because fear will make a mistake. Fear will sooner they treat you so. I give him 400 years to change him ways. Instead, I'm improve. Him get wickeder and wickeder and wickeder and wickeder and wickeder and, and say me don't talk. Talking days are who over. It's who me I talk to in this church. I who me I talk to on Facebook. Who me I talk to on YouTube. Flow and did you sell? Hold on to your prayer. Hold on to your intercession. God said, talking days are over. Over. Talking days are over. Oh, you better hear what me are saying at the church, you know. Talking days are over. I don't care what trouble you. Holy Ghost said, talking days are over. Bishop, the Lord said, Moses, I'm coming down in Egypt, but I must see the sign because I don't want to make no mistake. God said, I'm not spare nobody, so I don't want to make no mistake. Get the blood, put it on your whole stop, put it on the doorpost. But when I see the blood, hallelujah, hallelujah, death of the Passover, death of the Passover. But the Holy Ghost say, they make a mistake, them sooner they trouble you, them sooner they bother you, there is going to be death, death in Egypt. Death in some family, death in some business, death in some community, death in some nation. Jump up on your feet and say, death, 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 death. 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 
it is not our mistake. It is their mistake. Oh, you're not hearing me. It is not our mistake. It is their mistake. Can you imagine? Because they never believe in a one husband, one wife. How them supposed to have plenty children? Oh, you're not hearing me. And God said, you kill the firstborn. I'm going to kill back your firstborn. Oh, you're not hearing me. That's what the Lord told Isaiah. Oh, you're not hearing me that I will contend with them who will contend with you and I will save your children according to Isaiah 49 and 25. Anybody inside here who the enemy have follow your pee pee clock clock? You can't sleep because them are bother you. You can't wake outside them are bother you. If you go to the job at them first, you see, then not stop bother you. But I come to tell you today that Holy Ghost and they make a mistake. Holy Ghost and they make a mistake. Them things God dead. But my God is not dead. Oh, somebody give him a praise. And the Lord said, I will contend with them. Who will contend with you? And I will save your children. Can I tell you what it's saying in the 26th verse? God said, I will feed them with them own flesh. Oh, you know, hear me, church. Some of them are going to name themselves. Some of them are going to kill their own family. God has turned the gun back into the family. Somebody said, turn it back. Holy Ghost, turn it back. So, oh, come on, come on, come on, power fear. This is a spiritual move. Too much gun slinging. Bishop said, there is a service. Let us help the police officers. Come on, church, let us help the police officers. That every gunman creating havoc. Turn that gun in your own group. Turn that gun in your own posse. Come on, church. You know, hear what I just said. Look how much killing. Look how much murder. And the Holy Ghost said, I will feed them with their own flesh. So if you want God help with the police force, so turn them clock there, back on the scammer. Turn them clock there, back on the killer. Oh, I need some radical, radical prayer warrior. I need some radical. Ra what am I prayer warrior? What is going on? But if you know why, help me. Turn them gun there. So we had two of us agree. As touching anything. And we hold up on a clean hand. And if God no hear from me, God hear from him. And in the name of Jesus, every gunslinging spirit in Jamaica that is raving havoc from St. Thomas all the way to Hanover according to word of Isaiah chapter 49 and the 25th verse God said I will feed them with their own flesh they shall be drunk with blood as with sweet wine so in the name of Jesus turn them gun the heavenly father back on the schema turn them gun the heavenly father back on the killer Turn it in a Montego beer. Turn it in a Tivoli. Turn it in a Rima. Turn it in a jungle. Turn it in a Hornet. Turn it in a Westmoreland. Turn, 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 turn. Hallelujah. Moses the Lord said to Moses stretch out your hands Lord Jesus 
stretch out your hands. Some people catch it already. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Some people understand what is going on. I'm not going to tell you what to do. The Lord of Moses, stretch out your hand. And Moses, Red Sea. So Moses, I've been stretched out for you, man. I can't stretch my hand over your Red Sea. Are you of his stand up and stretch your hand over your Red Sea? You know what get me? Is that God was tutoring Moses how to fight the enemy. Moses already have the power to command heaven but Moses never know that him have the power to command heaven and Jesus said behold I give you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion Moses Moses was given an instruction Moses was being lectured almost as if he was in war class God said when you come in a war anything you dictate it are going to happen to the enemy God said Moses stretch out your hand and make the water come back they make a mistake and follow you reach out, reach out, reach out Reach out power faith. Reach out New Testament. Reach out church of God. Reach out child of God. Oh, you're not hearing me. Ah. Oh. Give me a gear time for reach out, you know. I give me a gear time for reach out. It's not entertainment. It's not entertainment. The Egyptians are coming. And I want thing them up on their mind. Death. I want thing Egyptians up on their mind. Death. Murder. Murder. Oh, you're not hearing me, church. I want thing. Bishop, stay standing. If you want to sit, sit. I give this testimony. It come to mind, so whenever things come to mind, some of you will realize I wasn't here for the starting of the convention. I got a call. And then Bishop talk over it. To go to this country, I don't want to call the country name. Well, it was an unusual ministry at an all inclusive. Not Jamaica. And a Jamaica alone have all inclusive. We go up on plane, and on a month ago, we go. And Bishop, when I reach, I was told, but when I see it, it different that I was brought to this place to speak exclusively to senior managers from different parts of the world. Oh, you're not hearing me. I had to sit down and say, Lord, I know when you ask me to do something, it's going to look hard. I fought it. And you are asking me to go away the day before the fought it. And I tell him, say, I can't go. Put up on the Sunday flight about one o'clock. He said, there's no plane on Sunday to go where you want to go. And if you go there to reach Sunday night, you have to go to Miami. You have to come Saturday. I said, there's no arrangement. I'm here on the verge. I say, I tell you, I make it, you know. How oh, it's going to look good at 40 years. I'm a picture all in the magazine. I'm in a there. Oh, it's going to look but where he leads me. <laughs> and when I'm going through the door, the Holy Ghost said, take up the key. I'm going to take up the key. 
You know which key me I talk, right, sir? <laughs> Lord Jesus. And when I'm there ministering, I realize after you're seeing people, so you know, you know, in the sense you say you're academic, it means nothing to this group of people. Academics mean nothing. Every kind of qualification you can think about in there. And while I am ministering, the Holy Ghost will just say, I don't know what is this about. But I just get in my mind Isaiah 41 verse 10. The Lord said, do not fear, for I am with you. Be not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will help you. Yes, I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. All those who were incensed against you shall be a shame and disgrace. Lord Jesus, a lady who not talk from me daddy, look like Minister Campbell. See him where in height, see him where she sit down, I mean it. See him where she look quiet, and she just jump up and start running. Yes, some of you, some of you too decent, you know. Me realize that it is a permanent secretary. And when the permanent secretary hear the word of God say, Do not fear, for I am with you. The woman starts run. And when Holy Ghost tell me, I she may bring you come here far. And all the rest are dead. And when the woman run around the room, we count it. She run around the room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. I bring she, I bring down Jericho. I bring she, I bring down Jericho. I bring she, I bring down. And some of you, they are with me every day. Are you not respect when God are used? We are not speak to me. The woman hear one word, and the woman grab on to the word. And then when we calm her down, when we calm her down. And you get about 15 minutes to calm them. Lord Jesus. And them say, I truly don't understand what that means to her. And while she's there trying to get calm, I start to tell them why that verse means so much to me. That as I see in a government official, they try to try me for fraud. The same fraud where me tell them about. And them write to the financial secretary that I must be surcharged for the fraud when me tell them about. And when the lady start to testify, she say me tell them about a certain fraud. And I me them want charge for it. And them write to the financial secretary and say they must surcharge me. Can I tell you church she's watching now? I say you're going to be blessed by this message. I say, I'm not calling your name, but God know who you are. And she said, minister. The man we are accused me is a grandmaster in the lodge. The one we are provide evidence is a grandmaster in the lodge. The one that is going to know rule over the evidence is also a grandmaster. I said, can I tell you my sister, they make a mistake. Car carrying it to the higher court. We make a mistake. We go into the higher court. She say I sit in the position, and them no one give me the position. I sit in the position, and them a fight me. She say I know I'm onto something. I say, why are you onto something? She say, I walk into my office and I see the flowers look a different way. And she say, I don't like how the flowers look. So I go back for me anointing oil. And she said, me anoint the flowers. This is the foolishness of God. She said, me anoint the flowers, but I'm a whole lamp on the flowers. That's what the Lord told Jeremiah. You shall uproot some of you know some wicked people a full time you anoint them just say me anoint the flowers 
me anoint the flower spot and when me uproot two weeks time one gone oh you're not hearing me they make a mistake John Harriet they should have leave you alone they should have call your name how far you come from come here man you come to rough times you come to difficult times you used to take bus and fun go a country go sell you sell clothes and jeans a long time you struggle me not have nothing bad to say about you but just one them just law you make God use you don't quench it man don't quench it man don't quench it don't quench it don't quench it don't quench it the sky is the limit got to let go yourself let go yourself focus on me Lord Jesus and when she give me a testimony my eyes them just go so on the key Holy Ghost, I give her the key. Oh, you're not hearing me. Some of you take that little key thing of your joke. And seven dear people pray over it, you know. Holy Ghost, I give her the key. And I take out the key and I say, You are not supposed to get this key. Because the bishop said, So me, I confess it, you have to learn from everybody. So you have to come get it for yourself. And I don't know why. So I want a key here, sir. <laughs> I don't know why. The Lord is going to tell me to give you my key. And it's when I give her the key. I said, let me tell you something about this key. Yes, when you go back which part you live. Meanwhile, when you reach the car park, you take out your key and hold it in your hand. And according to Isaiah chapter 22, and chapter 22 and verse 22, it said, the key rests upon your soul. And so whatsoever you lack, it shall stay lack. Whatsoever you lose, it shall stay loose. The ladies you have got down at the office and I lock up some lodge, I lock up some over worker, I lock up some bad mind, I lock up some wicked news carrier, I lock up some false witness. Somebody say lock, 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 lock them up church, lock down the scammer, lock down the shutter, lock down the bad biter, lock down some wicked family. Come on church, lock, 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 lock. Lock, 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 lock them, lock them. Lord Jesus, can I tell you? Not even one week good. She tell them, say, I want to talk to the pastor. We come from Jamaica. I want to give him the victory report. That the one we are content with me. Somebody say, hold. I don't know who you're running out of your life. But them day are too long. I bother you too long. They make a mistake. Them should have friend you. Them should have like you. Them should have take care of you. But because them want to kill you. Somebody say, hold. the man of God give me back my key and in the name of Jesus I come to tell every Egyptian that is following me through the Red Sea the Red Sea was made for me it was not made for you and what let me speak to anybody God said the Red Sea became a dry land there was wall on the right and wall on the left and we went to a dry ground. Yes, we did hungry. But we still have got through the Red Sea. Yes, we never have no name. But we still have got through the Red Sea. Yes, we lose some family. But we still have got through the Red Sea. Am I speaking to anybody? Yes, we now no money. But we still have got through the Red Sea. And when Israel reached on the other side, of God said it came to pass and 
when morning break, God looked down and saw the army of the Egyptians, the Egyptians, through the pillar of fire, through the pillar of cloud. And God said, Moses, lock it back, lock it back, lock it back, lock it back. A time for lock it back. Come to lock it back, lock it back. Lock it back. If you stretch out your hand, Moses, and lock back the Red Sea. And in the name of Jesus, the Red Sea have had too bad memory. Bad memory of sickness. Bad memory of defeat. Bad memory of losses. Bad memory of family trouble. Am I speaking to anybody? Anybody want it luck? Anybody want it luck? You're not so like you're ready. Everybody want it luck. Jump up on your feet and call it my lucky, it, lucky. It. Shout it, my shout it, shout it. Shout it! And the Holy Ghost said, Moses, stretch out your hands, Lord Jesus. And as I reach forward, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, we are going to lock it now. We are lock the blessing box. You can't put it in after me lock it. Anything you have, you want so you have to come now. Holy Ghost said, before you pronounce this last word, Make everybody sore where they must sore. Because when the Red Sea lock, it locked. You can't come again and say, I want to put in my offering. Can you imagine? Some Israelites could have been there watching to see if you're going to make it before them come. Lord Jesus, the Holy Ghost said, when you lock the word, Lock the offering box. No collect no offering. No collect no seed. Holy Ghost say, when you lock it, lock the box. So that they will know, Minister Maverick, that this is not a money thing. This is a seed thing. This is a fear thing. Oh, you not hear me. God tell them to kill lamb. And they can't eat it half. God said, call other people and make them help. Eat it. You have to make a sacrifice before this luck. And if it luck, you can't make it. Oh dear Jesus, I'm not putting my money yet. I need to lock out myself. You see what I'm talking about? I almost lock out myself. Then serious the church, I so much you never. So you see. I so much ago left over Egypt a while ago. Lord Jesus. Yo, as serious as we are talking, huh? serious as a judge. Show us you're not joking. Bishop, I'm going to share it with Bishop too. Come on, church. YouTube and Facebook, you have cash up on PayPal. Do your thing. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. You see where you see it already? Oh, come in. I've got to give you money for you. Come in. I'm going to you get left out of this. I would not know why you get left out of this, my sister. Because I feel it from the bottom of my heart. Just like how the Holy Ghost said, give her the key. I saw God tell me, same time. Finish up the offering. Finish up the seed sowing. Everybody have to do this by faith. Because when you lock, the box. You lock down everybody in the Red Sea. Lock down Fira. Lock down him horse. Lock down chariot. Lock down horse man. Everybody have a dead.
If you are in the chat and you cannot make a contribution you want, type it in the chat in a YouTube or Facebook. Your commitment, no. Because time count and send in a commitment. That's what the Lord said for those persons who are unable to do so. Just type it in a YouTube and commit one US dollar. If I want a fiat we are talking about. Five US dollar, five Canadian, whatever. It's about sowing because you're in this deliverance today. You can't sow it after we lock it. You have to wait on the next trip. People are still coming. Run the man, run the man, run the man. Run the man, run the man. Run the man. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I step on these pictures and keys and photographs and documents. Locking them up, locking them up. Locking them up, locking them up. Lock down the horse of hell against these families in the name of Jesus. Lock, 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 lock. Come on, church, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. What a day, what a day. There is a mighty move of God here today. The Lord said, what a mistake they make. What a mistake. Yes, lady, yes, lady. Say it, man, say it. Lock, lock, lock. I wish some more people that'll start grumbling in their spirit. Lock, lock, lock. I wish some people that'll start grumbling in their spirit. Lock, 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 lock. I don't know what you want, lock. But just a lock, 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 lock. Whatever it is, just start grumbling in your spirit. went to the Red Sea. The young went to the Red Sea. The old went to the Red Sea. Dog, cow, goat went to the Red Sea. I am also calling before I lock this. Every unsafe inside here, come. When I left you over Egypt, come. Every unsafe, may I call you right now. We now leave you in Egypt. If we leave you, fear I will take it out by you. Come. Yes, lady, come. Every unsafe in this house. Every backslider in this house. If we leave you, then I will take it out by you. To make and say, I can't catch quacky. Every backslider. Every unsafe. Some of you are coming to church and a thief people bag when they come to the altar. I pray you and drop off. And when you reach back to your house, your house gets a fire. So people are come to God and gone in them bag. I pray that your house gets a fire. And you and drop off. People can't even come to Jesus without having to worry about them bag. I pray in this church and every church, you and drop off. Hold it, man. Hold it. Because when I lock it, I'm going to tell you to move it. Just work with me, my brother. I'm under instruction from the shepherd of this house. And the Holy Ghost sanction it. This man don't put us to preach if him don't trust me. I'm making the last call now. Last call for feed for your seed and last call for the unsaved. We now baptize it today at the 27th of May. Come, all the backsliders, all the unsaved. We are lucky. Come, church, stand because the door are closed. Where's the box? You put it about oh, okay.
Are we all ready? We need every praying hand. Lock the box now. You can carry it away now. Yes, Lord. Lord, here are your people. They have been in bondage so long. And they have been ill-treated by those who should have shown them love. Those who they have helped. They helped some of them to have better family. Better business. They helped to make the community better. Everywhere they went, Lord, they tried to make it better. But the same hands that they held, the same hands that they have strengthened, the same family that they have taken care of, the same community that they represent. Yeah, they have come against them, Lord. And have treated them wickedly, treacherously, and hurt them. They have dealt them a wicked blow. Some of them, Lord, they are even shame to go back home. Shame to go back into their family. Shame to go back to the job. Shame to go back to the business place. Their heads have bowed down for a long time. And they have wandered like sheep without a shepherd. Without hope. But you sent your Moses. And as you sent Moses, you sent Bishop. Apostle Delphi Davis into Waterford. And he came back to Jamaica. Yes, Lord. But the Egyptians have pursued your people. Even though you have dealt them such wicked blows. And when they enter the Red Sea, when you made a way for them in the Red Sea, and you made a way for them you took off the wheels of the chariots to slow them down for you knew what you were going to do but they would not yield they would not leave them they would not let them be so you told Moses Moses stretch out your hands over the Red Sea for the Egyptians want no peace they will not settle until they consume these people they will not change their mind they only have one thing on their mind murder so Lord says stretch out your hands Moses that the waters will come back over them and cover the Egyptians cover the horses cover the chariots and cover the horsemen and as I reach out my hand like Moses today I call back the walls of the Red Sea against the hosts of Egypt against the armies of Egypt against the chariots the horse and the horsemen in the name of Jesus I call by the Red Sea to drown them I call by the Red Sea against them that it shall return to its full net and they shall be drowned in the name of Jesus drown them Holy Ghost of God drown them let sickness be drawn. Set back be drawn. All workers of iniquity to drown. Every failure and distress. Every family problem. We drown them today. In the name of Jesus. Every curse. Generational curse. We drown them. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of lodge. 
every spirit of Freemason, every spirit of Illuminati, every wandering marine spirit, we join them today in the name of Jesus and declare victory. Victory. I close it. I lock it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Spirit. Breathe upon everything here. Deliver everyone. Picture, letter, olive oil. Sanctify them to the good. Sick body shall be healed. Demons cast out. Spells broken in the name of Jesus. It's not by might, nor by power. But it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Oh, somebody give God a praise. Make Bishop Dr. Delphi Davis welcome. Stay where you are. Like you, precious Lord, oh my Jesus, just the man. the mention of oh, your name. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Flowers bloom. Your name is a
you today for the mighty move of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the way you have used your servant to deliver the word of God, seeking to rescue Egyptians from Egypt. Oh God, and to see Israel safely across the Red Sea and into the promised land. God, many have walked out by faith. Many are en route to the promised land even now. For many, history has become, Egypt has become history because their minds is made up. No turning back. No more longing for garlics and leeks and cucumbers. They have left them behind and they are bound for the promised land. God, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you seal all such travelers today. Seal all such pilgrims to eternity. And grant, Lord, that the fears of their lives that have been locked down will remain locked down and remain locked out in the name of Jesus. No more hindrance. No more avenues in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. No place for the canker worm of this life. No place for the palmer worm. No, not the locusts or the caterpillar. That have destroyed them over the years. No, you have rescued them. In the name of Jesus. Grant, O oh Lord, that their minds will be fully made up. And they will say like one woman said many years ago. Entreat me not to leave thee. Nor to return from following after thee. Lord, where you lead, I will follow. God, that doesn't mean all their problems are solved. That doesn't mean all the difficulties have been removed from their lives. But what we're asking you to do, Lord, is to give them the faith enough to believe you. To take it one day at a time. In the name of Jesus Christ. And to walk out by faith saying, I will follow Jesus every step of the way. For what shall a man be profited if he were to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? Or what can one give in exchange for his soul? God, we believe that time is winding up. And for some, time is running out. I hope there's not one today for whom time has run out. Oh God Almighty, and like an Esau, glory to God, they will seek diligently but cannot find a place of repentance. I believe there's a place of repentance for every person here today. So will you pardon and forgive sins and iniquities and transgression? And grant, O oh Lord, that our peace will be made settled with you today. I pray for them now. I pray for their homes and their families. I pray for their loved ones, their boyfriends, their baby father, their girlfriend, their baby mother, their children, whomever it is, connected to them in one way or another. Jesus, they too can be a part of the exodus in the name of Jesus. Let those baby fathers become part of the exodus. Let those boyfriends become part of the exodus. Wake them up on the inside, oh God. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus. And let their hearts be turned towards you. So that the family will begin to pray together. And indeed they'll stay together. Loose them, we pray thee. Deliver them and set them free. Satan, you are locked out and you're locked down. And deliverance has come to these homes and families, God Almighty. Deliverance has come to these homes and families. In the name of Jesus, we declare that deliverance has come to these homes and families. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Lift up your hands, open your mouth. And you know what to do.
that nobody else can do. Oh my God, you know what to do like nobody else can do. Open your, your mouth and give God praise. Give him thanks for this moment. What a wonderful moment. What a glorious opportunity. Hallelujah. To walk out of that and into this. Glory. Woo. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, touch her. In the name of Jesus, see her safely through. Oh God, let it be well for mother and child. Gracious God, lay your hand upon her and upon the fetus. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this baby girl be born safe. Let this baby girl be born sound. I speak into her womb. I speak into every hair of her body. Inch, oh, yes, Lord God Almighty. Oh, precious Lord. Magnify yourself. Show yourself strong on her behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And amen. Give the Lord praise, everybody. We're going to dismiss you in another five minutes. Don't you rush away. But I want to challenge you with what Moses said to Israel at one point. He said to them, you have to make a decision and make it known. He said to them, there are two sides. There is the Lord's side and there is the enemy's side. Let's call it Baal side. He said to them, if you continue to stay where you are, undecided, nobody won't take you serious because you are flip-flopping. You are flip-flopping and nobody will take you serious. So he said to them, this day, he said, those who are on the Lord's side, he says, Come over here. Show the others that you are fully persuaded. And let those who choose not to come on the Lord's side, let something stir within them. The minister has ministered and all I needed to do today was to pronounce a benediction. He preached, he raised offering, he prayed for the sick, he prayed for the unsaved backsliders he bind up and loose up I just needed to pronounce a benediction but the Holy Spirit wants me to challenge you as Moses challenged them years ago and believe me when Moses made that call many stepped out and said we are on the Lord's side if you have surrendered your life to Jesus Christ today and decide to follow him by faith every step of the way. And say to the world of sin, goodbye, I am gone. I want you to declare it in no uncertain way today. And nobody is under any duress. Nobody is being forced to do nothing. Something within you must convince you amen, amen. that this is what you need to do. Yes. To step out from there. And declare that you are on the Lord's, side. the Lord's side. Those who have surrendered and want to walk with God and need further counseling and advice and prayer. And maybe water baptism so you can go all the way. I want you to step out and stand over here. 
My God, she couldn't even wait, Lord Jesus. If you're on the Lord's side, really decide to be on the Lord's side today. Bishop, enough is enough. It has become too much. I won't take no more of the devil's junk. I won't take no more of the devil's beating. I won't take no more of the devil's lash whip. Egypt has dealt me some hard blows. God Almighty. Egypt has treated me badly. My Lord. And God send the Moses. Amen. And I can't afford to remain Amen. another day or night in Egypt. These have stepped out. And say we are prepared to stay on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. Each man, woman, boy, girl must work out your own salvation. I thank God for all of you. A large number of you are still standing down there. You know what your choice is and the reason for that choice. We leave it up to you and Jesus. Stand with me everybody. Let's say pray and close. Father, we thank you for your blessings today. We thank you for all that have been said and done. We thank you for the mighty move of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for these loved ones who have stepped out. Declaring that they will be on the Lord's side. We pray that you cover them under your precious blood. Seal them with the Holy Spirit of promise. We pray for those who are yet standing down there contemplating. Oh God, I ask you to help them to think about it seriously. And to make a decision before it is too late. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for everything. In Jesus name. And everybody say amen. amen. Everybody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Let, let, let me say this without, without being personal to anybody. And uh, God, no, I, I'm not being personal to anybody. In my audience or wherever you are, wherever, viewing everywhere, everywhere. Those of you who have not yet uh, put tattoos on your body, please don't do it if you haven't done it as yet, okay? And I mean that. You, you, you would not know what it does in Jamaica today and other parts of the world it denies you many opportunities you can't get in the army you can't get in the police force you can't get in the the in the hairline industry it denies you a whole other things I'm sorry some of you have done it already can it be reversed I don't know but those of you who have not yet tattooed your body wave your hand and say don't do it he yeah, said, don't do it. He said, don't do it. God bless you. Thank you for responding. Our church is here. We hope to meet with you again. And if you're serious about following the Lord, our baptism classes will be held on Sunday morning. If you can come by, we'll be happy to share with you. Don't leave. We got a good chorus and a benediction for you. And our baptism will be on the 27th of May. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Everybody ought to know. Some people don't know. Everybody ought to know. Some people don't know. Everybody ought to know. Who Jesus?